Well, fellas, we're here at last, eh? Yeah, it's all yeah. happening. It's all happening. Once we wind down, I think we'll all be glad of a nice sleep. Oh, what do you reckon the temperature is? About five degrees here? Three, three last time we checked it. Three. Yeah, it's three. Probably about 103 just there, like in there. We've got a bit of a chilly easterly blowing this morning. We pulled up alongside a couple of dead trees here on the flat and made camp about uh, early hours of this morning. Come down to check out a dam, another one, but this is also dry. A few dead uh, animals around. Well, it's the end of the day now. We haven't uh, seen any camels, but back over here to the uh, to the northwest is a, a dam with a lot of sign on down there so we'll uh, come back up here a few hundred yards and we're going to set up camp for the night got a little bit of wind here here we are around the camp we just uh, we just finished a nice tea of loin chops and fried onion and potatoes potatoes and whatnot and then Chris has come out and got the camp oven going and got these uh, beautiful scones look at that oh. oh happy days fellas out in the scrub and here we are living it up on golden syrup and butter we're doing it tough hunting might be tough but the eating's been pretty easy oh well We'll be on to some camel later on. We're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> That's the fella. Lone bull camel out here. He's gone down. Yeah, he's gone down. Oh, here's Michael with his first camel. First uh, go at a camel. First go at anything with a 338. How you doing, boy? Well, tell me about it. Well, I was just sitting on my chair at camp and then you came over to me telling me you'd spotted a camel, so... We got ready and then we put in a small bit of a stalk and then we eventually got within about a hundred yards where I was able to get a nice rest against a tree, then shoot him a bunch of times with the 338. Come up on this ridge, uh, have a bit of a look around after taking some meat off the camel. Looking back there to the uh, where the camel's lying in the centre and up on the uh, left above you can see where the camp was. That's where I spotted him from this morning. Michael made a stalk into the uh, bushes back behind and did a 150 yard shot. A lot of cattle on the other side of the fence and this side is uh, Mostly donkeys, ah, uh, donkeys, camels. This is all camel uh, wallows and uh, 
diggings. Looks reasonably fresh too. The camels have got quite an area here all bare. Come in for water and looks like they head out back down there. One bull's got his good old wallow not far from the tree line. How's it going mate? Yeah, it's stressful. There's about a corrugation every six inches, so if you work that out, over uh, over a hundred kilometers, so first we go from six inches back to millimeters. So that's 150 millimetres in 1 million metres, so you work that out, that's probably about 15 billion corrugates in the last 100 kilometres that we've done. And they're still coming, thick and fast. Hopefully we'll find a few camels along the way this Arvo. It's about 18, 19 degrees out here. In the middle of June found a little uh, pull-off spot a little little half made up camp here on the on the road just a little just a little uh, little jump up from the flat and got, got a lovely little spot here waiting for the coals to burn down now so we can pull a few out and roast some spuds well, we've eventually got one coming to meet us. The stalk's on in earnest now. He's gonna move. Reload. Straight behind the shoulder. Now. Again, reload, reload. He's good reload, shot. Reload. reload. He's down. That's it. Starting. He's down. He's holding there. Awesome. Well done, Will. Great shot. Go for the head now. Go for the head. Hang on, I'll get around here. Go for it. A bit high, Will, on the head. Just right along that tree. He's right. He's done. Bold up. Show how uh, how wide his uh, back of his head is here it's probably about 20 inches wide that's michael's hand span about nine inches doesn't even go halfway across the net show 
Good shooting, Will. Thank you. Yeah, we just come over a hill where there's a catload of trough and we've got four camels here looking at us. <laughs> They'll be on their way once they realise we're not friendly. Just getting ready for action again. Okay. One to the right, Chris. Hang on. Okay, got him. It's a massive. There's two little ones and two big ones. Here comes. I'll get this big ball, eh? Yeah. Oh. The one facing us on the angle. We'll get him, you reckon? Yeah. I reckon he'll go down. Look at the crowd of them. Quite a good mob here. He's going down. We were just driving along um, the track by a fence and we spotted a big mob put in a small stalk and I managed to shoot three, I think. Yeah, you did. Chris shot one first from the car. Yep. Yeah, what did you shoot this one with? A 338 again. And uh, what bullet? Uh, the 225 soft points. What about the Grand Slam? Um, this one was the Grand Slam, the other two were with the soft point. Yeah, they're 250 grain. Yeah. That's right. You happy with your day? Yeah, yeah. It's been good. Oh, well, Shimmons, what have you been up to, Chris? Well, we got a bit lucky here just now. We uh, tried to go down a boundary track just about 10k south of here, but it was all grown over, so we were sent back up north here to do another track. And it's grown over too, but we thought we'd sneak around down the outside and we seen a bit of camel sign as we're coming along. Um, and then all of a sudden we seen a camel and another camel and another camel. And it was about 18 or 20 camel just right here. Looks like they were bedding down for the night. Um, so they uh, got up to see what we were up to and uh, one of them fell straight down to the 300, uh, the Cooper. And uh, then we were able to gather another three uh, Mike come down and uh, we stalked out of the bushes here and quite close range so um, yeah no it was, it was a great surprise and uh, it's, it's been coming for a while a mob of camel we've traveled probably 1300 kilometers so far on this trip and we haven't seen anyone on the dirt roads we've been on um, so it's been good to be out and about in the outback and now we've uh, yeah just polished her off before sundown on our last day Jolly good show. Well done, boys.